okay at this point it's almost been a week since i uploaded it when this goes out since i didn't upload the first videos and i need to redo them um let's see yeah since it's going to be close to a week, if not a week, since I've uploaded. I've just been very busy and very tired. Uh, I decided that I'm going to be doing more story-based things. So, there are some things I'm going to completely just redo. They go completely off from the actual story. It's basically a whole new story with just a certain character. But, those are going to take a while to create. So... That's even if I do them, but I kind of want to. But right now, here's a what if that I promised I would do since y'all hit the light goal. Now, if y'all want a part three of this, let's say the light goals is the light goal is gonna be uh, 70 likes. Let's go ahead and get a part two to what if Naruto had dark shadow. Now, in the last part, if I remember correctly, Naruto's team, and I think the last time I uploaded this was over a week ago, so over a week ago I uploaded this, and his team was with Hinata and Shino because him and Kiba switched spots since Naruto wasn't the worst in the class. He was just barely above Shino, or not Shino, uh, Kiba. So Naruto, Kiba switched spots, meaning he is on Kurenai's team and, well, will be teammates with Hinata and Shino. Now, because they're on a the team, although Naruto doesn't tell them directly what he can do, he does give them slight a little bit of insight of his abilities with Dark Shadow. Now, because, well, uh, because it's a whole, well, somewhat different Naruto with a different personality, similar to Uncanon, but still different, with new people that he doesn't have any problems with, their teamwork is already better than what Team 7 was in Canon. And at this point, Team 7's teamwork in this series is actually worse than in canon, mainly because of Kiba and uh, Sasuke. Sakura is there, and she is constantly, you know, teaming with Sasuke. And at this point, it's basically a battle between Kiba and Sasuke. With, you know, Sakura just being a cheerleader for Sasuke. So, Kiba basically acts like a dog the entire time and tries to be, you know, the alpha. Will always challenge Sasuke to a fight, and Sasuke being the person he is, wouldn't really see Kiba as a challenge, so wouldn't fight him. And Kiba would eventually just get to why not, He's probably because he's scared, and Sakura would just say, because uh, Sasuke would beat you up in one hit. There we go. And this drives even a bigger divide into the team. They almost completely fail, but, uh, well, Kakashi does give them another chance, Mainly because uh, Hiruz and the third Okage would tell him to. So, Naruto. Their teamwork, or Naruto's team with uh, Hinata and Shino is already better than Team Can uh, Team 7's in canon. And because they, they can actually work well together and their abilities will actually well work very good together, they're a very powerful team. Now, well... They get about a month of training. In this month, I think, uh, well, I think, I forgot her name. <laughs> I always forget her name for some reason. Uh, Kurenai, there we go. Kurenai will actually teach them chakra control. Or, you know, uh, tree walking for now. But, you know, they try to do this. I think Hinata would most likely already know this because her... Her entire deal about being a Hyuga is having very, very good chakra control and being, well, being able to use chakra to their advantage. So she most likely already knows this or is able to pick it up very easily. Shino, who it's never specified how much chakra he has compared to others, at least I don't think it is. Well, I think he'd still be able to pick it up quite easily. Naruto, of course, will have a bit of trouble because he has a very large pull of chakra. And, well, we'd actually see Dark Shadow, who is connected to Naruto's well reserves of chakra, would actually be able to help Naruto with chakra control. If Naruto's putting too little into it, uh, well, Dark Shadow can add a bit more chakra. If Naruto's putting too much and isn't able to control it, Dark Shadow can control it. You get the idea. But because of Dark Shadow helping Naruto and giving him little tips every now and then, Naruto is able to easily pick this up. Of course, they do work on teamwork, and by the end of the month, 
not only do they know, uh, not only do they easily pick up t uh, tree walking, they already have better teamwork than Team Seven after the Land of Waves. So yeah, now we actually go to the Land of Waves. We go here because Corin I believe her team is quite decent, and after speaking to some of the only some of the other joning with squads, they believe her team her uh, well her team's teamwork is probably second out of all of them with team was it eight I'm not, I don't remember whatever um Asuma's team was team Asuma you know uh their teamwork's the best and hers is most likely second now we go she asks for a mission and of course they're giving the well the mission to basically take the bridge builder Tazna to, uh, well, back to the uh, land of waves or whatever. You get the idea. T basically, to ex escort him. There. Escort him. I can't pronounce that for some reason. And when the demon brothers appear, it goes by pretty easily for the team, because Naruto is smarter than a cannon, and because Dark Shadow is probably smarter than Naruto. Naruto would know of the puddle, so would Kurenai, Hinata, and Shino. And when the Demon Brothers appear, Dark Shadow is able to grab their gauntlets and basically throw them against a tree. They would basically, sh well, try and hit uh, Naruto with their gauntlets after they get back up. But before they could, they're surrounded in a swarm of, well, uh, bugs which drain their chakra very quickly. And because of this, they're already down. Now, they would be interrogated a bit but wouldn't talk. So yeah, if I remember correctly, weren't they in the bingo book? I think they were, I'm not sure. But we skip. Eventually, Zabza appears. The fight goes different than in canon. Kurenai has, well, specializes in Genjutsu. And she would probably be able to put uh, Zabza in a Genjutsu, but Zabza probably could break out of it if he learns that he's in it. So he could break out of the Genjutsu, but by that time, he's already been trapped with Dark Shadow, and... Because of Shino, they could easily drain his chakra. But they go for an easier route, the less time consuming route, instead of draining his chakra slowly with Shino's bugs. They have Hinata after Dark Shadow restrains Zabuza, would easily, you know, uh, start hitting Zabuza in an instant. Most of well, chakra points, at least the ones that won't kill him, are hit. Haku notices this and immediately jumps in, killing Zabuza. And at this point, Naruto's kind of mad because, you know, this missed shinobi basically just stole their kill. So, yeah. <clears throat> now, they would go. Uh, Kurenai, of course, would realize that this, this is a higher ranking mission and would decide that they all need some kind of training. Because although, yes, it went good in canon, or not good in canon, but although, yes, their fight went decent in this and was basically not a fight at all. They would realize that, well, that Ombu from the Mist wasn't actually an Ombu. It might actually help Zabza, or they might even have others that could help. So putting them all on a Genjutsu is probably going to be hard. So, she decides to train her team. Now, their teamwork's already decent. I think what she would focus on is, well, overall power. She has no way of testing their, well, has no way of actually testing their chakra natures right now. But she says after the mission, if they all survive, then she will help them with their chakra natures. But for now, since they don't have any way of testing what those are, that are going to be very quick, she decides that, well, what they're going to do is they're going to come up with a couple of, not different tactics, tactics, but they're going to find unique ways to use their abilities. Shino, of course, is mostly used to drain chakra. But, by using his bugs, he can make it even darker than what it naturally is. And the darker the area they're in, the stronger Naruto's Dark Shadow is, or the stronger Dark Shadow is. Now, Hinata, although yes, she doesn't have as much raw power or any really ability to help them, she can actually, well, be of an assistance because she's going to be more of the warning system, being able to tell whether or not someone's nearby with her Byakugan. And because of their ability, you know, 
Shino making it darker and probably making it somewhat harder to see depending if there's mist or not from Zabuza, which the mist would also make it slightly darker giving Naruto even more of a power boost. They would basically make it to where Naruto is the powerhouse. He has decent range with the Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow can't really actually be hurt, at least not permanently, and can heal from anything and everything with enough time. So yeah. Now, eventually, uh, well, Tazuna is attacked. His family is attacked. Because Naruto is the powerhouse, they would take Naruto to the bridge, and they would decide that Hinata would actually stay and protect, you know, the bridge builder's family. And when two thugs from Gato's, well, uh, min or two of Gato's minions would show up, she would easily take them down and would inform, basically, um, well, she would inform, or not inform, but tell, you know, the bridge builder's daughter and grandson to hide, and she would rush over to the, well, the bridge, where she would actually see the fight going very easily in her team's favor. Now, because there's mist, we would actually see Naruto fighting, well, Zabuza. So, Naruto has a lot of power, and Zabuza's blade can't cut through Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow can just catch it. And even if it could cut through Dark Shadow, Dark Shadow could just reform its body with more chakra from Naruto, who the amount of chakra it would take to reform its body wouldn't be that much. So, yeah. The fight's going in, not in her team's favor, and she would actually go help Kurenai, who at this point is actually fighting, uh, well, Haku. Okay, so, if Hinata's going to help, uh, oh, I forgot, Kurenai, there we go. If Hinata's going to help Kurenai with Haku, they could win somewhat. It's hard to tell. I think with the mist alone giving Naruto a slight boost in power with, well, with Dark Shadow, they would be able to restrain or even take down Nar uh, uh, Zabuza. Now, we could have Shino helping both Kurenai and Naruto out by giving them, well, by having uh, bugs that take away chakra, you know, a uh, consume chakra on Zabuza and Haku. Now, it could work on Zabuza, but I don't know if they'd work on Haku, because Haku would probably move too fast if he notices that they're there. But if they are able to get on him, that means he is losing Chakra fast. So since he notices he's getting tired faster for some reason, he would most likely try to, well, take down Kurenai, who could most likely put Haku into a Genjutsu, but if Haku realizes this, could easily break out. Now... We would see Hinata there, who could, you know, see the needles, and could most likely react to them. So, it's a pretty easy fight if I say so myself. Naruto, with, uh, well, the help of Shino taking away Chakra from Zabuza and the Mist giving him a slight amp and power, could easily, or not easily, but somewhat take down Zabuza, especially since he can keep range. Especially since he has better range. Now... Shino would focus more on Haku since Haku is way faster than Zabuza, and Zabuza would probably even mention that Haku's probably stronger than him, so yeah. So the fight goes down pretty easily. Now, of course, uh, it wouldn't end the same as in canon. Instead, I think, well, what would happen is they would be taken down and taken into custody. The way this would happen is, because of them, Haku and Zabuza losing Chakra, they would most likely be low on Chakra by the time the fight is over, and probably wouldn't be able to fight. Now, they'd be taken in when Naruto and the others leave to the, well, to the village. Uh, Kurenai probably even has some form of summoning. We could say she does. We could say it's some kind of bird summoning that she uses to basically, you know, send messages. And would send a message basically saying that her team has captured uh, Zabuza of the Mist and his, uh, I guess, accomplice. So yeah, and then of course they eventually get back to the Leaf, and that's where I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ugh, that's where I'm gonna end it off here. 
if you guys want more of this again I think I said 70 likes at the beginning of the video so let's get 70 likes on this and I will do another part and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye and have a wonderful time bye guys